We're here with Bill Wake, a veteran of Agile and major contributor, thought leader in the space. Bill, can you talk a little bit about TDD? I mean, you do a lot of work with XP teams and the, the application of Agile to actual development practices. What, what's your point of view on, on TDD and what makes it work? Uh, so TDD, test-driven development, um, that we're saying we'll, we'll write a test, we'll make it pass, we'll refactor. Um, it for, for me, I think the, the nice thing it does is that we know that uh, for, for many of us anyway, if uh, we don't write tests, we don't really know if things work or not. And uh, we can kind of get balled up in, in big steps that maybe go t too far for how fast we can think about things. And so uh, what I like there is that that small cycle that I can see each little piece I'm adding is moving the system forward and it works. And all those tests I had before, I can run and make sure nothing nothing fails now at this point. So I, I like that aspect of it. I like the aspect of uh, the refactoring that says, let's be systematic, not just change things, but change them in a way that we know we're transforming from a system that works to a system that still works. And uh, if we use tools like Eclipse has a lot of nice things or, or a ReSharper in the C Sharp space and so on, these refactoring tools, um, most of the problems we have go away. So um, if you're moving a method by hand, you have to be pretty careful about adjusting parameters and moving, you know, making everything right before you do it. If you're doing it with Eclipse, it's going to basically get it right, and you don't have to do a lot of the bookkeeping for it. And so uh, changes that used to be pretty expensive, they're now pretty cheap, and we can we can rely on them more and build off the tool and uh, lets us move faster and better. And is what's the experience like for the developer who is new to unit testing? Is it, um, I mean, can they pick up a book or look at an example and and is it, do you think it's an easy practice to pick up? What's the process like for the individual who begins to engage in this and, and sharpens it as a skill they have over time? Yeah, I mean, there are definitely, um, there are books and courses and online courses and so on that, that teach the skills. Um, testing, uh, there, there definitely is, is uh, an art to it. Um, in test driven development, um, we say micro tests to say they're really small tests, not just any kind of unit test, but a very small test. And, and kind of getting used to writing tests in that, that little teeny tiny way, um, it, it is a skill. It's just gonna take a little time to, to, to work with. And um, you also have to kind of pay attention to what's working for you and what's not. And you know, if the problem is you, you write a test and it takes you forever to get it passing, you probably bit off too big of a chunk and use that feedback and try and write smaller tests or simpler tests and, and work on. And uh, you know, it's um, I don't know from from scratch. You know, I mean, it's it's months, and then you know, like everything, you spend as long as you want years trying to get better at it and, and make it work better for you. But uh, you know, it uh, I don't think it takes long to see payback from from unit tests, and uh, you know, you you find something, it gets it gets caught that you would have spent days looking for otherwise. You know, you, you see the value at that point. That's some great advice on getting started and the rewards of test-driven development. Thanks, Bill.